I've seen it reverse a lot of ocular dysfunction. So people are losing their sight. I've seen it drive up spermatogenesis. So increasing fertility. Hmm. We can see it directly driving anabolism, directly driving beta oxidation. They call it exor the exercise peptide. Exercise mimic peptide is what I read articles. And saying. it does so much more than that. It does so many cool things from every single aspect. So like SLU is amazing, but remember it's, it's chemically strong. So the chemical signals it sends is drastic. If you take too many of any of these mitochondrial peptides, what does it do? That yeah. mitochondrial ATPase will spin. So if, let's say this is a normal spin rate, right? If you hyperspin it, what happens? You'll throw off some oxidation. You will throw off some reactive oxygen species. That's normal in ATP production. It has to be like that. But if you too spin much. it too hard, you spin off more reactive oxygen species. So the peptides, the mitochondrial push right now in the longevity community, it should be massive because that's how we're going to heal our system, right? Mm. But if you overspin those by taking SS31 and MOTC and SLU and you just fill in the blank with mitochondrial peptide X or whatever, it's going to overspin and cause the negative opposite effect. 